And one thing that we we'll want to continue to do in the state of Texas is to increase the amount of testing uh, that is taking place. In the early stages, uh, a lot of the uh, testing collection material or testing equipment itself was provided by the federal government. It could be uh, sent to us through FEMA or sent through uh, state health authorities. Now I would say that the majority of the testing that we see taking place is testing that's done at, at the private level, whether it be uh, private drive-through uh, testing facilities or hospital-oriented facilities or uh, private healthcare related facilities. Bottom line is that uh, whatever the source may be, we are seeing more testing achieved in the state of Texas and I'm very proud about something that will be happening very soon in Texas, uh, and that is an announcement by Walgreens in Texas to provide drive-through testing for the coronavirus. The sites uh, will be using uh, the Abbott Labs 15-minute uh, testing equipment so you can get a quick response, positive or negative, about whether or not you have the coronavirus. And each of these sites uh, may be able to be built up to administer as many as 3,000 tests per day. And so this will just be another way uh, in which our testing capacity will increase. Uh, we continue to see uh, at least a 10% increase per day uh, in the amount of, of testing that we're doing compounded daily uh, over the past week. As I mentioned, we are seeing a rise in the people testing positive in Harris County as well as elsewhere in the state of Texas. But remember this, these numbers are lower than they would be if it were not for the distancing practices that people are employing right now. It is essential that uh, we do more uh, to reduce the number of people that test positive as well as do more uh, to reduce the number of deaths. And we can really do that by only one way right now. And that is by everyone doing more to ensure that we are applying these stay at home policies. If you're not involved in uh, providing essential services, it's so important for your health, for your safety, for the safety and health of your family members, as well as even for your own life, that you simply stay at home. 